Hi everyone, welcome in. It's Feel Good Friday, hooray. <laughs> Dogs are not super excited about it, but I certainly am. <laughs> oh, I am all about it. I am so ready for the weekend. I cannot even begin to tell you. Hi Donna, how are you? It's good to see you. So happy to be this close to the weekend. I have a live now, I have a live at four, and then I actually plan to give myself a break this weekend, believe it or not. I normally don't do that, but I have promised to myself that I will take a little bit of time, even if it's just a couple of hours, just to kind of sit back and maybe read a book or, you know, I don't know, snuggle with the dogs or something, who knows, but I definitely deserve a little bit of a break. Hi, Catherine, hi, Robin. Hi, Nicole. Happy Friday indeed. It is a wonderful Friday. It's really nice here today. It's hot. I'm always complaining about it being hot because I'm just not much of a fan of the hot weather. Cooper's squeaky toy, do you hear it? <laughs> Sounds like a dying duck. <laughs> um, but it's a pretty day. It's a pretty day today. It's just a few fluffy clouds around. I um, I was happy yesterday morning we actually got some rain to kind of knock some of the pollen down. It's crazy around here, the allergies. We live in like a really bad spot for allergies. <laughs> I think that's Kathy. Kathy saying, oh, I'm you again. I'm pretty sure that's her. Hi, Margaret. Oh, I'm sending you hugs, Margaret. I haven't seen you in a while, my friend. Hi, Sandra. I also saw Joan is in the house. Mira, or Myra, I'm sorry, I always mess that up. Yep. The puppies do deserve a good snuggle. <laughs> they do indeed. All right, so people are starting to roll in. Let's get down to business. Will you please take your squeaky toy elsewhere? <laughs> so, guys, I got a couple of things uh, to mention. <laughs> I've got my thinking hands going, right? Like Dr. Claw, you guys remember that? Um, so a lot of things going on. This weekend, I don't have a, um, I don't have a Michaels Live this weekend, but I do have a live, is it next week? Joan, I can never remember. Michaels has kind of altered my schedule a little bit. I believe that my Michaels Live for next week is on Saturday. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that it is. So if you've not signed up for that, Joan is really good about posting in the group um, where you can you can sign up for that. Just follow the links. Um, let's see, what else is happening? So now that we are in June, we're actually going to be uh, having a little guest. He's going to be a featured guest over in the Hardwired group, but he's also going to make a guest appearance here in our regular lives. And that is our dear, dear friend, Neela Patel with Silver Silk. So be looking forward to that. That is coming up very, very soon. He's going to have a really cool uh, kit for you guys to see. I cannot wait for you to uh, take a look at Silver Silk if you've never used Silver Silk before. This is going to be a great opportunity to play with it. Also, let's see, what else do I have going on? Um, I feel like there was something. Oh, the Bargain Bead Box. I know I mentioned this yesterday, but sometimes people don't make it to every single live, so I'm going to mention it again. Bargain Bead Box had a problem last month with getting their items out on time, and <clears throat> so they finally got the item that they were waiting on and they just pushed out the bargain bead box. You guys, it's fantastic. I just got mine a couple of days ago. I know people are starting to get theirs. That's what we're going to use next week. I believe on Tuesday, I'm going to use the bargain bead box box to create our project. So if you have the, if you have the box and you want to create along, or if you've never signed up for bargain bead box and you're interested in what it's all about, Tuesday will be a great opportunity to take a look. This is a really fun one. I love it. It is um, a great theme for this time of year and the colors are perfect. So I am looking forward to that. I haven't made anything yet, but I'm obsessed with some of the little things that are in there. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. <clears throat> so Pico, you, Pico bleh, what? what was that? You guys, some of you are mentioning my earrings. We did these as a project not too long ago. Um, I'll have to repost the link to these. We did these as a Facebook Live. I just don't remember exactly when it was, but they are fabulous and they look really good with this mustard color. I'm not wearing gray today, you guys. I'm wearing a color. <laughs> so it is Feel Good Friday, which means that it is very casual. The conversation in the chat is always casual. My presence is pretty casual. 
on any given day. Um, but Feel Good Friday is a day where we make easy, instant gratification jewelry that you can easily recreate with things that you have in your own stash, or you can buy the kits over in my Etsy shop. So speaking of the Etsy shop, there was a huge update last night. There are tons of findings and goodies in the Etsy shop. Um, as well as the kits. There are four kits. It's actually three, but two colorways um, for the earrings that just landed in the shop. I'm going to show you all of those in just a few minutes. Lots of fun, really pretty kind of tropical summertime feeling jewelry. Um, let's see. One more thing I want to mention, and this is not necessarily for you guys. This is kind of a public service announcement for anybody else who happens to be listening. So for those of you who are here just to hang out and have a good time, this is not necessarily for you. However, if you know somebody, it might be worth it to kind of point them in my direction. I just want to put this out into the universe to other companies, to bead companies, um, to Discovery Network uh, other networks. I have TV experience. I also am very uh, versed in technical writing as well as teaching and instructing and jewelry making. And I like to think I have a pretty fun personality. So I'm just putting this out there into the world that I am open for collaborations. If you would like to get in touch with me, I have a great team of people um, that would be happy to talk to you about you know things like that um and i just want everybody out there to know that i am i'm open to new opportunities i'm going i'm entering a new chapter in my life a new adventure um some doors are closing and that is going to lead um room for other doors to open so uh just putting it out there i would love to get back in front of a real camera and not an ipad so uh there you go just so you know doing a little shameless plug for myself all right, guys, let's get to work, shall we? So these are super easy and fun. Cannot wait for you guys to see these. I definitely have tropical feelings going on with all of this jewelry today, and I hope that you feel the same way. So let's get down to it, shall we? All right. So I've got, Joan, I would too. That is my dream. That is my ultimate dream. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> Donna says, you go girl. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, so one of the very first kits that I put together for this week, guys, I'm using a recycled piece of leather. Just know that the leather that you're gonna get in your kit is not recycled, it's nice and brand new. Um, <laughs> this is really soft, supple leather. But this was one of the first ideas that I had to put together for a kit. And it's one of these that, I'm kind of marketing this as an ankle bracelet or an anklet, but honestly, you could cut the leather up with this and make a regular bracelet out of it if you wanted to. So just know that with this kit, there is enough leather to do either or. You get plenty of the leather here, so you're going to have the opportunity to either do an ankle bracelet for, you know, your beachy vibes or just a really cool, nice leather bracelet. So it actually comes in two different styles here. I'm going to show it to you. This is just super easy. We're just going to do some knotting with our leather. But one of the kits is this kind of darker kind of mahogany colored leather as well as a sand dollar charm. The other colorway that is listed is a little bit lighter colored leather and it has a sea turtle that goes with it instead of the sand dollar. So I feel like there's one for, you know, two totally different personalities or maybe you want them both because you can't decide. I'm not going to stop you from that. <laughs> um, but just so you know, there are two different colorways. We're going to put together the one with the sand dollar. So we've got the sand dollar. And we also have these guys. I'm a huge fan of these. I use these in a lot of projects. I think they're really fun. They're large hole beads, but they have a little loop on the bottom of them. That's actually where we are going to hang our charm. And then we're going to use the other two to hang these really cool druck beads. That's druck, not drug. <laughs> these are really cool druck beads that I picked up a while back. They're just kind of fun colors. This is like a swirl of kind of ocean blues and some greens and some teal, which I thought were very uh, appropriate to go with our sand dollar. The ones that go with the turtle are a little bit more on the green side, but still very much kind of ocean feeling. So you got two of the drop beads 
And of course, you've got two head pins to go with these. And then a selection of wooden beads because nothing says beach boho vibes like wood. I love coconut um, beads and I love soft wood beads. That's definitely what we've got going on here. So um, this is not going to be the last time you see something with coconut vibes in it today. Also, there are cord ends and I may not attach these cord ends but I will show you how. So there are two cord ends in your kit. So let's go ahead and put this together and then we will do our wire wrapping and add our beads to this. So I actually like to start in the middle, which is kind of weird, but I don't know. I'm gonna take my, this one's gonna be the one that our charm hangs from and I want this to be in the middle. So I'm going to, uh, hold on a second. Linda says she can't find the sea turtle one. So it's just a choice. So you, when you pull up the listing, you're going to see this one pictured. But when you go to check out or look through the pictures in that listing, and you'll see both, you'll see both choices. Okay, so I'm going to slide this on. I'm going to bring it to the middle of my two pieces of leather cord here. And I want to get pretty close to the middle. So I want to bring all of my ends together. Okay. Now I'm going to hold that in the middle. Is this two millimeter leather? It is. In fact, I believe that this one is the two millimeter, but the one that's a little bit lighter colored is 1.5 millimeter. Just a tiny, tiny difference. But yeah, this is two millimeter. I'm going to take the two strands of leather together and I'm going to wrap them around my fingers and I'm going to create an overhanded knot. Simple knots, guys. I love simple knots and knotted leather is one of my favorite things. So I'm going to pull that down nice and tight. That's going to sit right next to where our main charm is going to go. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here on the other side, just around and over my fingers. And I'm going to create an overhanded knot and I'm going to pull that knot down right next to our little bead here our charm bead i don't really know what to call these i'm sure that they have a technical name but i'm not really entirely sure what they are i just know that it's a large hole bead with a hoop on it that you can hang fun things from <laughs> okay so that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna do we're gonna call it uh you know a hoop bead i don't know i don't know okay so <laughs> now that we have done that i'm actually gonna pull up the picture because i don't want to mess this up you could actually do this in any number of ways that you wanted to but i want to put this together exactly like it looks in the listing um, just so that there is no confusion here so let me pull it up so that we can look okay that's what i thought so you can either put these guys next if you want to with your little drug beads hanging from them, but I'm going to actually separate them out with a larger wooden bead. Now, my wooden bead does have a nice large hole on it, but it's not going to accommodate both of the pieces of leather. So I'm going to thread it onto just one of the pieces of leather. And if you find that your wooden bead has, you know, see how that one's got little, little places in it that are sticking up. Or if you find that the hole is obstructed, take an, a beading awl or something like that and just kind of poke it through the hole there so that you, um, you can get your leather through there. And that's not going to be the last time you hear that because I've got another set of beads coming up that you guys are going to see where I had some of the same issues. Okay, so now I'm going to tie another overhanded knot. I'm just going to use these knots not only to secure the beads and make sure that they stay in their spot and they don't travel, but also because I just kind of like the way knotted leather looks. So there's one on that side. I'm going to repeat that over here on the other side. So I'm going to thread my leather or my bead onto my leather and I'm going to go ahead and do another overhanded knot. Oh goodness. Sorry about the barking guys. I apologize. I promise if anybody puts me on TV, I won't let the dogs, <laughs> I won't let the dogs in the studio. <laughs> <coughs> well. All right. So. Now we have our little wooden beads on either side as well. And now I do want to go ahead and put these on. Hush, boys. They're mad because the, um, the post person, the mail person, is dropping something off. And they know the sound of that truck. Which is usually a good thing for me because that means there's somebody's dropping off some good packages for me. Probably some beady goodness. All right. So same thing. I'm going to do an overhanded knot. Just more of the same here. 
hold that in place. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So these guys, remember, they go, your leather will, both pieces of leather will fit through these little bale beads. You guys have decided that we shall call them bale beads. And I, I concur. That is a great uh, name for these. If Is that official or are we just, are we just guessing? Because <laughs> that really is kind of what they are. All right, so last but not least on the length portion of this, I'm gonna add these little guys. So again, they won't fit on both strands, but you can either alternate them, put one on one and one on the other. Um, but I'm gonna do mine all both on the same and then just another overhanded knot. This leather is so soft. <laughs> yep. Albert, Albert agrees, apparently. <laughs> hush! Boys, boys, no. Shh, hush. Uh, it's okay. It's casual Friday, right? That means you can bring your dogs to work. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hush! That's enough, big mouth. All right. So, just repeat that over on the other side. Now, <laughs> oh, gosh. Now we're ready to add our dangles to this. So this is all, as far as the length is concerned, this is all that there is. So you do have some more um, length of your leather if you wanted to add more things to it. I just want to kind of leave it plain. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and attach our fun dangles because you guys know I love to add dangles to things. I'm gonna add those to this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is our charm in the center. I'm just gonna use a four millimeter jump ring here. Open that up and I'm gonna attach that to our sand dollar and then I'm gonna thread that onto the middle. So I'm gonna close that back. Okay, and now I'm gonna add my two little druck beads to head pins. And you can do simple loops here if you want to. I really do kind of recommend doing a wrapped loop, particularly if you are going to wear this as an ankle bracelet. If you're going to wear this as a, um, if you're going to wear this as just a bracelet, I wouldn't necessarily worry about it so much. Um, I don't think that they're going to come off. But if you're going to wear this around your ankle, I don't know. I feel like we're just not nearly as mindful when we have jewelry near our feet. I would be afraid that maybe these would come off. So. Um, doing a wrapped loop is, is definitely my recommendation, but you do what you got to do, you know? All right, so we bent our wire, coming in with the round nose pliers. I'm going to take that wire up and over. I'm going to rotate the pliers and take the wire over to the other side, and we're going to wire wrap in that space. Now, this could also be wire wrapped directly to the loop on our large hole bead that would give you even more security i am just going to use jump rings for mine uh, but if you're looking to make sure that they definitely don't come off if you're going to be wearing this along the beach please think happy thoughts of me and you know wish i was with you send me a plane ticket whatever <laughs> If you're actually going to wear this out into the wild, my friends, you might want to um, you might want to forego the jump rings, but it's up to you. Okay, so again, we're going to wire wrap in that space, and we are going to trim off. Okay. All right, now the last little thing other than attaching our clasp is just going to be attaching these with our little jump rings. And so two more four millimeter jump rings are going to be our connections. Close that back. I think this is so cute. I love the pop of the green and blue with all of the brown. I just feel like it was a nice little addition of color without being like too much, you know? All right, so there we have either a really fun ankle bracelet for the summer, whoops, turn back around here, or a regular bracelet. Now, as far as the end is concerned, you have your finishing materials in your kit, um, but I'm not gonna actually do this, but I am gonna show you what you would do. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your ends are both the same length 
and you want to use a little bit of glue here. If you want to use E6000, if you want to use Hypo Cement, if you want to use Super Glue. If you're going to use Super Glue, I definitely recommend using gel, but you just want to very carefully slide both ends of your leather into the same cord end. And sometimes it helps to cut them both at an angle, right? to get them both in and you do kind of have to wiggle but this crew we're all about wiggling so that's not I'm not asking too much for you guys to wiggle a little bit but you want to let that sit probably 12 hours a good 24 hours if you're going to use this as an anklet um, just because we are less mindful when we have things around our feet um, but you want to let that set up okay and then of course you want to add your jump rings and your clasp to this which are also included in your kit but I definitely would let the glue dry for a long time before you wear this out and you want to do both ends right and you've got cord ends for both ends so your ends two ends go inside one of the cord ends all right so that is our little ankle bracelet and of course just a reminder the other one is a lighter colored leather and the main charm is a turtle which is also super cute and you don't have to wear these this is not just limited to spring and summertime you definitely could wear these whenever you wanted to i mean leather is always appropriate so all right oh my gosh Found some E6000 Plus that's odorless. I'm going to have to get me some of that. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about E6000. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to sit this to the side. That was our very first kit that's in the shop. Now the second one, I'm going to save the earrings for last. I'm going to show you guys the necklace. And I've actually kind of cheated a little bit with the necklace because I've already done half of it. And I'm not going to do the entire thing because it does take a while to put this together. But I want to show you what this is all about okay so got some beady goodness here in the necklace kit you've got 24 of these little swarovski beads 24 swarovskis can you believe that i can't believe i had enough to make as many kits as i did so there's only 12 here because 12 of them are already on the other side of the bracelet but there's 24 of these little Swarovskis, then these little wooden beads and these little stone composites. I'm not even really sure what they are. Some of them have some pops of green in them. Some of them are just pink. They all have a very small hole, but I have tried them and they all fit on the cord that you're gonna get. And you're, you get three different colors of nylon cord, two different shades of green and a shade of pink. And see, it matches so beautifully right and then your center this is an actual piece of coconut so we've got a really cool coconut bead for our center focal and then we have a little watermelon um i'm not real sure what this is it's like watermelon agate with the pink and the green and a really cool enamel leaf charm to go on the bottom of this we're going to put this together here in just a second i'll show you how to do that and then as far as the length of the necklace is concerned we just did or i just did and hope that you will just string one bead per strand tie an overhanded knot one bead per strand overhanded knot right in little groups of three you can mix up your beads they don't have to all three be the same in your little bundles you can mix this up however you want to Okay, so that's what our little tropical necklace is going to look like. Now, I know, like I said, I cheated and did one side ahead of time. And I'm not going to do the entire second side, but I will show you how to do it. And I'll show you how to attach um, our charm and our little pink and green bead here to the bottom. But what I wanted to mention is I took all three strands of the nylon cord and I found the middle and then I thread our coconut bead onto it and I just tied two knots here, okay? So that's really how you wanna get started. You wanna start in the middle with your coconut bead and then just work your way out. So find the middle of your strands. Don't cut them in half, you don't have to, okay? So let's do, let's do our focal first. So for the little focal, we're going to use a piece of German style wire that is also in your kit. And hold on just a second. Again, pulling up the picture because I want to be sure that I do it the right way. I've slept since then. So 
We're gonna use our German style piece of wire here to attach these to the bottom of our coconut bead. I'm obsessed with these coconut beads. I think they're so fun. So, oh, and just wanted to mention that uh, there are extras of these in the Etsy shop, by the way. I think I only have a handful of them, but if you want an extra one of these uh, leaf beads, I've been calling them palm beads or palm leaves, but they're not. They're mon monster, monstera. I don't know what they are, but okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a wrapped loop and we're going to wrap it directly to our piece of coconut. And so I got to make a large loop here. Where are my regular pliers? What is happening? Okay. <laughs> All right. So we need this loop for here to be a little bit large because see the surface area that we need to clear? Monstera, yeah. Um, and I'm probably not even saying that right, but I, I yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we need this loop to be a little bit larger than our than the size wrapped loops that I normally make just so that we can clear the surface area here because we're not gonna use a jump ring, okay? But we're gonna go ahead and bend our wire, right? We've given ourselves about an, an inch and a half here. And I'm gonna use my round nose pliers, but I'm gonna use the very, very back of the round nose pliers. So I'm way back here on the largest part of the tool to make the largest loop. So up and over, we'll rotate the pliers and take the wire over to close up our loop. Now, when we take this off of the tool, oh no, I distorted this one. Let me grab another one. <laughs> you see where, whoops. Okay. It's a good thing I have extra wire. I got lots of wire. Let's do that again. This time let's try to, uh, let's try not to wrap around the square part of the tool here. So up and over, rotating very carefully this time. All right, so now we have a nice large loop, okay? And this loop should be enough to accommodate. I am gonna open it up just a little bit before I thread this on, but now I do have to do a little, little wiggle here to pass through that loop and clear the surface of our bead. So now that I've done that, I'm going to grab this with my bent chain nose pliers. It just makes it a little bit easier to keep everything nice and flat. And I'm going to wire wrap about three times. Okay. Now when I take this off, we're wire wrapped directly to our focal bead here. And I'm gonna come in with my cutter tool and trim that off. And now I'm gonna thread on our little watermelon colored bead. See that pink and green shift? So pretty. And now I'm gonna do just a regular wrapped loop and I can do just my regular, the regular size, okay? And if you want, you can wire wrap this directly to your pendant, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start my wrapped loop up and over, rotate the pliers. And actually, we're gonna need to turn this this way. Whoops. Okay. Now I'm gonna thread on my pendant and I wanna make sure it's hanging in the right direction. Yep. Okay. So you don't have to use a jump ring there if you don't want to. You can if you want. I'm going to I'm going to skip the jump ring, okay? And grab that loop with the bent chain nose pliers and wire wrap in that space. Okay? And now I'm going to come in with my cutter tool and trim off the excess wire that I don't need. And our focal is ready to go. I just think it's so fun. I'm not big on pink, but I don't know. There was just something. I actually, when I began this design, I started with these pink and green beads. That was the jumping off point for me. And so that was really the, um, the inspiration, which is funny because, like I said, I'm not much of a pink person, but I, it just went so well. Okay, so up here after we've tied on our 
cord, right? One side of this is already done. We're just gonna do a couple of these and then I'll show you really quickly how to finish this off. Um, but you just wanna take each cord and thread on a bead to each one of the cord ends. Okay, and I don't want those to fray, so be careful, don't let them fray. If it starts to fray on you, trim it off. You can always add super glue to this or whatever to, you know, thick, clear nail polish. We've been through all of those before. If you need to stiffen up the end of your nylon cord, um, this is another one of those where the hole on the beads, because we're working with wooden beads in particular, um, the hole is small, but it will fit. I've tried them, they all fit. However, if you need to stick a pin, a safety pin in there, a, um, a bead reamer or a beading awl, uh, definitely do that to kind of get all of the little jaggedy edges out of the way because your nylon cord will fit through the holes on these as well as the stone beads as well. Just takes a little bit of patience, but they will fit. And they are all drilled kind of weird because it is wood. So just be, you know, just be mindful of that. So I may need to trim this one. Okay, so you thread one bead onto each one of your strands. Okay, and they can be three of all the same. They can be three different. It's totally, it's your necklace. You can do whatever you want to with it. Then you just wanna bring all three strands together and do an overhanded knot. And you can place your knots wherever you want. I like to give my beads a little bit of room to travel. So I probably let the space in there be about an inch. But I don't really measure, I just kinda of eyeball. I'm not worried about it being exact by any means, but that's how that's gonna go. And you're just gonna continue, right? So one bead per strand. So for the next little grouping, I did some of the pink and green beads, right? And then I did some of the Swarovski and then I went back to the wooden beads again. So we'll do one more, let's do one more section and then we'll talk about how you finish this off because the way I finished off the sample is not necessarily how you are going to finish off yours because um, I picked the wrong findings. So I'll show you. I'll clear that up for you. So one of our little stone composite beads on each one of our, are we talking about cabana boys? I'm gonna need a cabana boy. Cabana boy, cabana, cabana man, <laughs> all of the above. I'm good with that. Cooper just groaned at me. He thinks I'm ridiculous. <laughs> I think he's ridiculous for barking at the post person. So, <laughs> all right, so three beads, overhanded knot with all three strands. And then I'm gonna pull that down. Okay, so. That's how you would just keep going, right? You've got all of your beads. There are plenty of beads. You've got enough beads to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You've got enough beads to do twelve sections of beads on each side. <laughs> Nicole Cooper thinks he's my cabana boy. He does. He does. He doesn't think there's room for anybody else in my life. That's funny. Um, that's why whoever is next absolutely must love dogs and must be completely understanding of the fact that my German Shepherd uh, feels like no one else can can join us. <laughs> there's no room. I say there is. He says there's not. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> especially now that he's in sleeping on my feet, he's just not going to know what to do with another set of feet, right? Okay. So you've got enough to do 12 little groupings of beads and depending on how you separate these out is really gonna kind of determine how long your necklace is gonna be. You get five feet 
five feet of each one of these cords, okay? So you've got plenty of the nylon cord to work with to make your necklace longer, to make it shorter, whatever you wanna do with it. And I also thought it would be cool. I don't know how I feel about this large um, coconut bead on here, maybe hanging from my ankle or from my wrist, but you could do the same thing and do a really cool wrap bracelet. I think it would make, make an awesome wrap bracelet. So just, just extra ideas. Now, as far as finishing this off is concerned, my sample, for whatever reason, I picked up pink, or not pink, oh my gosh, silver findings. And I didn't mean to because we used gold down here, right? So our sample is not correct, but what you do have in your kit is in gold. So you get a bead tip. So how do you use the bead tip? Well, you take all of your cords when you get to the end, right? You tie your knot. Then you're gonna take your cords and you're gonna thread them through the loop on your, um, on your bead tip, right? And then you tie another knot and then you close the bead tip down over the knots. And I add a little bit of glue to that. And then you use round nose pliers to roll this down and add your findings to it. So that's how you're going to finish it off. This one is in silver, but the one that you get in your kit is gold. Okay, just so you know that it does actually match and your jump rings in your clasp are uh, gold as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't totally lose my mind at the end, I promise. I, I kept it together and was able to correct my wrong before I made your actual kits. So that's the necklace. And I wish that I had more of this done for you guys, but it does take a while to put this one together. It's not that it takes a lot of time or technique. It's just that you know, you got to be patient threading each one of those beads on. So there you go. There's our necklace and it does come together really beautifully. If you want to see the finished piece, of course, you can see it in, um, you can see the picture in the Etsy shop. But all right. So last but not least, I have two more kits for you. But they are exactly the same thing, just in two different colorways. So I have these really fun pineapple earrings. I'm all about the tropics right now. So there is a silver set of earrings and these are little silver pineapples, these beautiful Preciosa Druck beads that I actually got from Danielle Wicks out of her shop, but they are from Preciosa. And then these vintage Czech glass flowers. Some of the flowers have AB finish, some of them don't. It's just kind of a, it's just luck of the draw, but they're actually, they're pink. I don't know if you can tell. So the silver ones are pink and this gorgeous teal color. And then the gold ones, are this gorgeous honey color and then these awesome melon beads that I got from Sam's Bead Shop. They are like purple and teal, but they have that gold fleck on them. And your coconut, um, not your coconut, your pineapple is in gold. So let me show you just real quick how to put these together. They're so, so pretty. Absolutely love these. All right, so here are our check glass flowers. And you've got your piece of wire, your jump rings, all your little findings here, and we'll put these together, okay? So you get your piece of German style wire. You wanna thread this on. See how these check glass flowers are drilled in the center? You wanna thread your wire on and bring it sort of to the center. It doesn't have to be exactly in the center, but we wanna take our wire and we wanna treat this like a briolette. So we're going to bring our two wires together and crisscross them at the top of our flower. Okay, so do our little crisscross. And then we're going to take one of the wires and bend it straight up and down. And we're going to take the other wire and bend it out this direction. Okay, now we're going to take our wire and you can use your bent chain nose pliers. If I could stop misplacing my tools today, that would be amazing. You can grab this with your bent chain nose pliers, right? And wrap around. Now, instead of doing a regular wrap sweep, I kind of make our little platform. You guys have seen me do this before where I make kind of like a little spiral instead of a regular wrapped loop. And it just makes a little kind of 
wire wraps little platform for our beads to sit on you don't have to do it that way you can do whatever you want to i just get a little get a little creative with my wire wrapping sometimes i get bored with the same thing over and over again okay so i've made myself a little spiral platform you can see right and then i'm going to take my melon bead so the gold set has the melon beads and the silver set has these gorgeous drucks in um, this beautiful teal color. So they both have very special beads. And now we're just gonna do a wrapped loop on the top. So I'm grabbing the wire, give it a bend. Do up and over, rotate. Take the wire over to the other side to close up our loop. I'm gonna switch hands here and wire wrap okay so that is our little bead section i'm going to come in with my cutter tool and trim that off and now we're ready to just put everything together so we've got our ear wire and some jump rings here little tiny jump rings so they don't take up a lot of visual room or physical room open thread that onto the wrapped loop here and onto the bottom loop of our pineapple close that back and then on the top here is a series of two four millimeter jump rings right i did do two didn't i i did not why do i have all of these extra jump rings i don't need a jump ring at all <laughs> like what why did I do that no you just want to attach your ear wire directly to that that's so funny what was I thinking all right so we're just going to open up and we're going to thread that on and close that back no need for extra jump rings unless you just want to add extra length to your design but there are those I think the gold ones are my favorite but it's hard for me to decide because I was so obsessed with these beads that I bought from Danielle that's these are the beads that are in the earrings that I'm wearing right now so yeah if you're if you're curious as to what I did with the rest of them I made kits for you guys and they're in my ears so there are our sets of earrings super super cute very tropical very very tropical Lori says that those are so cool if you wanted to add some extra bling you could give tiny crystals on some of the pineapple holes oh my gosh I love that idea that is a great idea love that love that one of my phones sorry you guys apologize for all that buzzing that was happening forgot I had a phone in my pocket all right, so I'm going to turn you guys around I'm going to show these to you from a different angle I'll put the earrings on so you can see them and then we will say our goodbyes for the day. Okay, so I'm going to turn you around real quick. So you can see, these were the same. It's the same bead as the one here. See? Yeah. So let me try these on three. They're so pretty. They're so, so pretty. I hope that you guys have enjoyed these. Um, I had a lot of fun putting these kits together. I don't know. It definitely put me in a summertime mood and I'm not a hot weather person. So, uh, it takes a lot for me to get inspired, um, in the heat, but I do love beachy tropical, um, jewelry. So those are so pretty. And that bottom bead of course is pink. So if you're into pink, the silver pair is definitely going to be for you. Um, the gold pair though, I really feel like is probably my favorite. And I think it would look really good with this shirt as well. <laughs> Might have to wear these later. So if these are a little bit too long for you, you can definitely take the, um, the extra check glass bead and do something else with it, right? You don't have to make them all long like this. In fact, if you wanted to, you can make it a pendant just like always with earrings, particularly big earrings, you can make it a pendant instead. And if you do that, you've got enough to do two pendants with, so you can make one for yourself and one for somebody else. So just ideas, right? Just ideas. All right, so what else do we have? We have our ankle bracelet or regular bracelet. Let me hold that up here for you guys to see. 
So we've got our wooden beads and our fun little charm, and you've got enough leather on both ends when you're finished. This one's been trimmed down, but you've got enough to do either a ankle bracelet or just a regular bracelet. Just remember how I showed you to put your, um, your ends on. I'll flip my charm around here so you can actually see it. That'd be good. So two ends per cord end for that, right? And then last but not least is our necklace. And I know it's not finished, but I'm going to put it on a bust anyway, just so you can get the idea of what it will look like when it's finished. Um, so you do have to kind of use your imagination a little bit, but I think that's okay. You get it. You get it. <laughs> so, oops, I have it facing the wrong direction. Of course I do. I'm a huge fan of this necklace and, and it's not done. Obviously it's not done, but you get an idea of what it will look like when it is completely finished, right? Does have that, that tropical feel, but it's not like, it's not like a loud, crazy Hawaiian shirt. Kathleen, I'm talking to you. <laughs> it's not over the top. It, even though it does have pink in it, it's a subtle amount of pink, right? But still, you could get away with wearing this, even if you don't live in a tropical place or you're not on vacation and people wouldn't be like, whoa, with the Hawaii shirt. No, you've got a really nice, beautiful piece of jewelry that is casual, but you know, you could get away with wearing this with your sundress as well. It's really lightweight, which I'm all about in the heat. So the, the coconut bead is like, it's air light. There's no heaviness to it at all. Probably the heaviest part of this is the charm on the bottom and it's really not all that heavy either, so. Lightweight, airy, fun, flowy, flirty jewelry for the hot weather that has come upon us very, very quickly here where we are. So where I am, at least. All right, guys, that's it for our Feel Good Friday show. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope these pieces have inspired you. Feel free to recreate these with things that you have in your own stash for instant gratification jewelry. Or if you would like to go over to my Etsy shop and grab the kits, everything you need to recreate these pieces is available. And I mail those out first thing on Monday mornings so you get them as fast as possible. Um, as fast as the post will allow. We'll put it that way. <laughs> they're still having they're still having their own issues, right? All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see the hardwired group in a couple of hours. I'm going to run to the post office. I'm going to see what's on the porch first, and then I'm going to run to the post office. But I'll be back with you guys for our question and answer uh, live later this afternoon. The rest of you, please enjoy your weekend. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your Friday, and take some time for yourself. Make something fun for yourself this weekend. And, yeah, that's it, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.